Hey, what's going on, y'all fanatics? Um, as you can see from the video, you're just having a hard time getting rid of those weeds and grass. Not the ones that's in your lawn, but that's like in your flower bed, that invasive Bermuda grass that try to grow up in your flower bed, nut sedge in your flower bed, curb cracks. This is the video for you, baby. I'm about to show you how to supercharge your own homemade roundup with a couple items. See them right there. Well, maybe a few items. I'm glad you tuned in to this video because you're going to really, really appreciate what I'm about to show you. This is pretty much guaranteed to kill any weed, grass, just everything. Kill all. That's what I call it. When I make this mixture, I call it kill all. Because you know why? It kills all. All weeds. Everything. Let's just get to it. Okay, y'all fanatics. Uh, I've got a couple of things I want to show you here. Now, what I'm about to show you is how you make your own kill all. That's right. It's called kill all. You see, I got it written on my... Um, pump sprayer this is a one gallon pump sprayer and what do you see on the back do not use on lawns at all because this will kill your grass if you got one of these I would advise you to write something on it so your family or friends or whoever you won't grab the wrong um, sprayer if you need it but um here we go y'all look we got our 41 percent glyphosate that's the H HDX brand Home Depot right here we're only going to use one of these. The only reason I'm showing you two, because it doesn't matter what weed kill for lawns that you like, um, ortho, roundup, uh, spectricide, um, bear. It's a, it's a bunch of them. But if you do get one, try to get one that actually kills um, yellow nut sedge and um, crabgrass and clover. This one pretty much does all of that. That's why it costs so much. That one, it doesn't say anything about killing um, the uh, yellow nut sedge. Spectricide does, but let's just get to it. Basically, what we're going to do, we're going to mix two ounces of HDX, 41% glyphosate, one ounce or two, it's up to your discretion, of your favorite weed, for, um, kill weed for lawns product. And we got a surfactant. Now, what is my surfactant? My surfactant is basically just some Dawn dish detergent. You can use um, Johnson's baby shampoo also. Uh, it's totally up to you. But I, I prefer Dawn because, you know, blue stuff work on everything. You know, they clean ducks when they get oil on them. If your glasses get smudged up, put some Dawn on it. Um, you need to wash those dishes, put some Dawn on it. I mean, it's just an all-purpose um, household cleaner that um, is used for everything. So why not lawn care, right? Um, right there, just bottled water, just in case I get thirsty. Um, that back there is my um, SG20 backpack sprayer. Now, if we're going to use that, we're not going to use the HDX brand 41% glyphosate. We're only going to use our backpack sprayer uh, filled with water I put like three gallons of water and use two ounces of that product per gallon of water one ounce per gallon of water so I'm about to make up a concoction so pay close attention you guys first of all I already got one gallon of water first of all you do start make sure you get you some latex gloves when you're using this glass of fate you don't want to make sure you want to make sure this doesn't get in your skin in your eyes make sure you got the proper eyewear make sure you got protection for your hands first of all i got a measuring cup here whatever measuring cup you use for this concoction when you use this 41 percent glyphosate you cannot use that same cup to put in the one that you make for your lawn this is only for kill all so you should have two separate measuring cups when you make your concoction for your kill all and one for your lawns this is kill all this is for everything all the weeds all the grass all right 
my surfactant. If you're wondering why I got it in a water bottle, because my wife got mad at me for taking the Dawn Dish detergent with me while I was out cutting grass. So I put 16 ounces in a water bottle, empty water bottle, and I wrote surfactant on it. Um, you probably can't see that, but this is the best way to go. So basically what I do is this. Unscrew this. I already got that one gallon of water in there. <clears throat> in this measuring cup, it holds three ounces, but it's, it's, it's a measuring line in there that you can't see, but for purposes, just know that I'm pouring one ounce of surfactant into it. I'm pouring it into my spray bottle. Make sure you put your cap back on your surfactant so you won't tip, tip it over and spill it all. Okay, I got one ounce in it. Next, I'm gonna make a heavy duty sprayer. So I'm actually gonna put two ounces of fluid of this. The measuring line is on the inside of this cap. And you can actually use the one that came with it if you're not gonna put your glyphosate in it. But I'm, I'm gonna use this one. This is the one I got for the kill off. Putting two ounces of this fluid in here, right at two ounce line. Add that in there. Remember, you can adjust that one ounce up to two ounces. Oh, my fault. Now, I'm about to add my 41% glyphosate. Two ounces per one gallon of water. And guys, that's pretty much it. Put your top back on, screw it down. Before it's mixing it up, I don't stick anything in there. I just make sure it's tight, kind of agitate it. And I'm good to go, y'all. Give it a couple pumps. Lock it in place. And basically, let's take it, spray it on whatever weed, curb crack, whatever item you want. Make sure you get total leaf coverage. Yeah, okay guys, that was that was pretty much the end of it, but what I want to show you is how I do this up close and personal. fanatics I just showed you how to totally annihilate a weed in your y'all I'm um, in your flower bed curb cracks wherever you want those weeds to disappear from what I just showed you to make that's what you need to be making like I said just be careful when you apply that stuff make sure you don't have rain within 24 hours uh, most of those products like the um, Roundup for lawns, the um, Orthro Weed Be Gone, they have somewhat of a surfactant in it because if you read it, it'll say rain proofs itself in an hour, two hours, three hours, whatever, whatever it is. But adding that surfactant that I had, it actually, it slows the drip off the plant. You need as much chemicals as you can get to stay on that plant. And that actually slows it up. If you got real waxy weeds too, um, that Dawn 
actually helps eat through that wax and allows those chemicals to get into that plant and pushes, pushes it down to the roots and kills it off. Um, if you don't think this is gonna work, make your own concoction, find a whole patch of weeds, spray them, check them out three days later. They will be burnt to a crisp. There won't be any more weeds left there. I promise you. It'll be like the Wicked Witch after you take her shoes off. I'm melting. But just remember, 